Have you ever thought about why we have two sets of teeth? Hi, I'm Dr. Douglas Keck, a participating Delta Dental Pediatric Dentist and national spokesperson for the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry. I'm here to talk about the importance of baby teeth. The first baby tooth appears at about six months of age, and by age three, all 20 baby teeth are usually in the mouth. When that first tooth appears, that's a good time to bring your child to the dentist. The visit is an important one. It's the time when we educate parents about baby teeth and how to maintain good oral health throughout childhood. At that first visit, your dentist will review how to clean your baby's teeth. He or she will also tell you how to help prevent cavities in your child's teeth. It is unfortunate that tooth decay is the most common chronic childhood disease in America when we know that it is nearly 100% preventable. Baby teeth play a key role in your child's growth and development. They help children chew food properly and speak clearly. Baby teeth also hold a space in the jaws for permanent teeth. Perhaps most importantly, healthy baby teeth set the stage for a lifetime of good oral health. A baby tooth stays in your child's mouth until a permanent tooth is ready to push up into that space. They usually start falling out between the ages of 5 and 7 and are all out by around age 12. However, there is a lot of variability. But just because they are temporary, it does not mean you can neglect them. In fact, baby teeth are as susceptible to cavities as adult teeth. Not only are cavities painful, but tooth decay could cause a baby tooth to be lost too early, creating spacing problems in your child's mouth. That's why it's important to begin good oral hygiene right away. Even before you see any teeth, you should clean your baby's gums. Simply wet a clean piece of gauze or cloth and rub it over the gums. This gets your baby used to the brushing action. After your child has a tooth, you can use a small, soft bristled toothbrush. You do not need to use toothpaste when your child is very young. Just wet the toothbrush with water. The brushing action alone can remove the plaque. If your dentist feels that your child may be at a higher risk to develop tooth decay, either due to diet, hygiene, or a lack of fluoride in your drinking water, he or she may recommend using just a light smear of fluoride toothpaste on the baby-sized brush. Around age three, you can use a small, pea-sized dab of toothpaste. Infants and toddlers tend to swallow almost all the toothpaste on the brush, and it doesn't take much to help prevent decay. In addition to brushing your baby's teeth, there are other steps you can take to help prevent tooth decay. Avoid putting your baby to sleep at night or nap time with a bottle containing any liquid with sugar or other simple carbohydrates. This includes infant formula and breast milk. Doing so exposes teeth to a liquid that can cause bacteria to break down the enamel. As you introduce solid foods, choose age-appropriate healthy snacks that are also good for teeth. For example, yogurt, cheese, peeled apple slices, or easily dissolved cereals like Cheerios are healthy favorites. Taking care of your child's baby teeth is the first step on their road to good dental health. If you set the pace early on, they are more likely to enjoy good oral health for a lifetime. And that's something to smile about.